What is going on guys? It is actually here. Welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I am going to be giving my preview for tomorrow's game away at Reading. It has been a couple of weeks since the last Wolves video as another international break has come and gone. And uh, I'm glad to be back with the Wolves videos and um, I'm glad, I'm glad the championship is back in action again. So, another game away at Reading this time. It's been a couple of weeks since the last one, uh, which was at home to Fulham. Obviously, we won that game 2-0. And that game, uh, that, that game against Fulham, obviously, I went to. I made the match day vlog out of it. And um, that game, that game against Fulham a couple of weeks ago was really only one-sided, really. And Fulham only had a couple of chances within the game, really. Um, and I think we dominated for most parts of the game, and I, I don't think Fulham had anything really in it, and uh, I think it was a poor performance, really, from a Fulham perspective, really, uh, a couple of weeks ago from that game, and I think, I think you could compare it, really, to the Aston Villa game, really, as, uh, as the Aston Villa game, uh, a month ago now, uh, Aston Villa, the, the only click or chance they really had in that game, was the Rod Robert Snodgrass free kick where he hit the bar uh, very late on when the game was already dead and buried. So, uh, with, with it's come, uh, the international break has come at a very bad time for us, I think, uh, because we were starting to regain our form as we lost 2-1 to QPR on the 28th of October, but then after that on the Tuesday night game, we uh, went to Norwich, uh, and we beat them 2-0, and then going into the Friday night game, uh, we beat Fulham 2-0 when we uh, returned back to Monu. So, we were starting to regain our form, and uh, and the international break came, and it, it came a, a really wrong, wrong time for us, because we were starting to regain our form, we, we, we had back-to-back -back wins, uh, we were starting to uh, build off of that QPR loss. That QPR loss really was just a bad day at the office, I think. And it was just a blip, really, as as it showed uh, on that Tuesday night in East Anglia, where we won 2 0. And then on the Friday night, coming back to Molyneux, we beat Fulham 2 0 as well. So, uh, two clean sheets in a row. Uh, and um, and t back to back wins as well. So, we will start to b build a good run of form once again. And uh, and we were top of the table going into yet another international break, and everything seemed to be going right for us. So the international break really came came at a wrong time for us because everything was going right. Our, our results were going our way after that QPR came, and we, we were top of the table. What 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 more could you ask for? Top of the championship. Results going great. Everything's perfect, and then the international break comes, and yeah, two weeks, two weeks uh, without any championship action, and now here we are, uh, going into tomorrow's game against Reading. Now Reading, having a very poor start to the season after almost getting into the Premier League, losing on penalties to Huddersfield in the playoff final last year, uh, but. After that playoff final, I think I think it really, I think it really uh, demotivated Reading because going into this season, they they didn't have the best of starts to the season really. Uh, after finishing third the season before, um, uh, it wasn't really a great start. Uh, but since then, they they've managed to regain. Uh, their their old selves, uh, kind of, and uh, they've start, started uh, to get some results. Uh, obviously, the the other week, um, again against against Nottingham Forest, but um, one one of their um good results I can I can actually recall. Um, but since since the first start of the season, Reading has started to to stabilize themselves and and um and hope hopefully from a reading perspective hopefully for them every, every everything goes up 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 up, up from here um uh, uh 
uh, from a running perspective. But hopefully, hopefully we should get the three points. Hopefully uh, our team, the quality we've got on our team now, hopefully it should be too much for the Reading side. Uh, yep, stands for Reading. Last time we went to the Badeski, we lost 2-1. That was in March. But a lot of things have changed since then. We've had new manager, new um, a ma a managerial uh, appointments. Uh, back in March, it was Paul, Paul Lambert days. Now, now uh, with uh, with uh, Nuno, so uh, different personnel, and uh, we've got. A bunch of new players as well uh, on the pitch so a, di a different manager diff completely different team from back in March where we lost 2-1 at the Medeski uh, so hopefully hopefully this shall be three points in the bag as um, Sheffield United beat Burton tonight 3-1 at the Pirelli Stadium so they have gone top temporarily um, for the first time since we slipped up to QPR and they uh, and, and they won and so they went top of the table uh, for that week but then the week then obviously on Tuesday we were, we beat Norwich so we went top of the table and on that same night uh, QPR uh, did it again and they beat Sheffield United for us uh, and we, that meant we went top of the table so Everything's going right for us so far, really, and I think it's going to be a 2-0 win. Hopefully, uh, we should have three points in the bag by the end um, of the afternoon uh, uh, on uh, Saturday tomorrow. Um, by 5 o'clock tomorrow, hopefully, we should have another three points in the bag. Uh, and hopefully our goal difference improving as well on the way. But anyway, soon I win hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm having positive vibes coming back into championship action. If you did enjoy this Wolves video after a two week break, make sure to smash that like button. And I shall see you on Sunday with a review of the Reddit game. Hopefully, it's a positive one. Until then, come on, guys! <laughs>